Good morning. I want us to um, just begin to focus our hearts and our minds on just the goodness of God this morning. Just the goodness of God. Just wherever we might be, whether you come to the altar or you're in your seats, I want you to just close your eyes. Don't worry about me. I just want you to close your eyes and just begin to reflect on your week. Reflect on your week. Reflect on how there was an ache at the beginning, but somewhere near the end of the week, everything seemed to feel all right. Reflect on the fact that there were some situations that were brewing in the household and somehow through the grace of God over the week, things began to calm down. I want you to reflect on the fact that maybe there was a bill that was due at the beginning of the week. And somehow, some way, God made provision available to you for you to meet your needs according to his riches and glory. So we enter into the sanctuary with hearts and minds postured to worship. We enter into the sanctuary with hearts and minds postured to give God praise. How many of us know that God doesn't have to bless us, but he's faithful to do it. God doesn't have to keep us, but he's faithful to do it. God doesn't have to heal our bodies, but he's faithful to do it. God doesn't have to give us peace in our minds, peace in our spirits, but, but he's faithful to do it. So we come to talk to God, that God this morning, the God who has shown himself to be faithful. The God who has shown himself to love us. The God who has shown himself to be our comforter. Some of us this week have had heavy hearts, but God stepped right on in and comforted our hearts and gave us strength to stand and strength to move forward. So we come to talk to that God this morning. We come to talk to that God who is the friend to the friendless. There may be some of us who don't have anybody to call, but we know that we can always call on the name of Jesus. And he answers us when we call him. Psalm 34 says something like, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord. What does that mean? That means to make him great in spite of my circumstance. I will magnify the Lord. I will make the Lord bigger than my pain. I will make the Lord bigger than my discomfort. I will make the Lord bigger than my confusion. I will make the Lord bigger than the loss of my loved one. I will magnify the Lord. And then the psalm says, let us exalt his name how? Together. When we come corporately into his presence, what I may be lacking, you might have. And so we cannot be selfish in the worship moment. Somebody might be motivated to worship because you lift holy hands. Somebody might be motivated to worship because you cry out hallelujah. So let's exalt the name of the Lord together. For he is great and he is greatly to be praised. So we're going to praise him past a hard week. We're going to praise him beyond exhausted bodies. We're going to praise him beyond back pain. We're going to praise him beyond how we feel. And we're going to tell this bodies, we will magnify the Lord. So Father, we come before you this morning to magnify you. We come before you this morning to make your name great. We come this morning, God, to just say thank you. Thank you for another week that you've kept us. Thank you for another week that you've brought us. Thank you for another week that you've healed us. Thank you for another week that you've fed us. Thank you for another week that you've clothed us. Thank you for another week of keeping us in our right mind. God, we thank you this morning. 
We thank you, Father, for the privilege to worship you. We thank you for the privilege to think about you. We thank you for the privilege to honor you. We thank you for the privilege to bow down before you. We thank you for the privilege to say thank you. God, we recognize that there are some who can't even move their lips to say thank you, so we'll do it for them. We thank you for being a friend. We thank you for being our all and all. God, we thank you for the ability to just come into your presence, whether we're in person or we're online. We thank you for the privilege to just slow down and worship you. Because it's in our worship, we make the exchange, our weakness for your strength, our chaos for your peace. God, we thank you this morning for the blessing of worship. So God, as we come before you, would you renew our minds so that we're not focused on the things that we can't fix anyway. Just renew our minds to worship you. Renew our minds to give you glory. Renew our minds to accept your peace. God, we thank you that as your spirit falls freshly in this atmosphere, that we will sense you being oh so near to us. We thank you for a fresh anointing to worship. We thank you for a fresh anointing to praise. We thank you for a fresh anointing to receive your word. We thank you for a fresh anointing to sing your praises. We thank you for a fresh anointing to stand at the doors. We thank you for a fresh anointing to preach the word. We thank you for a fresh anointing to raise our hands in worship. We thank you for a fresh anointing to be honest and transparent. We thank you for a fresh anointing to make you welcome father would you agitate the atmosphere right now so that your children can get what they need from you father you said healing is the children's bread and we thank you for healing our emotions today we thank you for healing our minds today we thank you for healing our bodies today we thank you for healing our marriages today we thank you for healing our families today we thank you for healing our communities today we thank you for healing our world today we thank you Oh God for a healing that can only come from you God help us to loosen up in here help us not to be restricted God to be in your presence God if we feel like dancing give us the courage to dance this morning if we feel like shouting give us the courage to shout this morning if we feel like clapping our hands give us the courage to clap our hands let us not be so consumed by who's watching us that we miss an opportunity to engage with you so God we ask for a takeover this morning take over this atmosphere take over the music ministry take over the atmosphere oh God God. take over the waiting congregation take over in here oh God so that we leave here changed the only way we should leave here unchanged is if we purpose to do so so God give us the freedom to worship you let us worship you in spirit and in truth let us worship you in spirit and in truth come on let's just begin to put our hands together let us worship you in spirit and in truth lift your voices unto him and worship him in spirit and in truth raise holy hands and worship him in spirit and in truth if you feel you need to do a dance let's worship him in spirit and in truth come on let's shake up the atmosphere let's shake up the atmosphere so that the enemy is uncomfortable in here let's let the enemy know that he has no place in here let's let the enemy know that this is a place for true worshipers true believers people fixed in purpose to receive from God today come on let's agitate the atmosphere let's agitate the atmosphere come on let's play a little Simon says Simon says raise your hands Simon says raise your hands Simon says raise your hands Simon says stomp your feet let the enemy know that he's under your feet Simon says do a little dance let the enemy know I'm here for warfare I'm here to fight for my family I'm here to fight for my peace I'm here to fight for social injustice I'm here to fight for what belongs to me I'm here to fight for my healing come on let's agitate the atmosphere and let him know that we came this morning to be blessed. We came this morning to be blessed. 
We came this morning to be blessed. Let's not let this be any old average Sunday. Let this be a Sunday that you know you've heard from the Lord. Come on, Rhea. Let's just continue to move us into worship. Let's continue to move us into worship. Hallelujah. Come on, let's begin in worship. to move into worship. We can have everybody stand if you can. Lift your hands. God yeah. is worthy of all yeah. praise. Yes, he's worthy. We worship you, Father. He's worthy. He's worthy. If you know this song, just sing along. Worship God mm. with us this morning. Say 
Come on, let's continue to praise our hands together. Let's continue to put our hands together and make God welcome in the atmosphere. And make God welcome in the atmosphere. I can't stop praising. Can't stop praising. I can't stop dancing. Can't stop dancing. You've been too good, Lord. You've been too good, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't stop praising. I can't stop praising. I can't stop dancing. Can't stop dancing. You've been too good, Lord. You've been too good, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't stop praising. I can't stop praising. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. You've been too good, Lord. You've been too good, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's not get tired. Let's keep praising the Lord. Amen. Let's go with this one. Amen. Let the people of God say amen. We thank and praise God for everybody who's in the building today. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm glad to see you. Look at your neighbor on the other side and say, I can't stop praising. Can't stop blessing him. He's been too good, Lord. Amen. If the Lord's been good to you, come on, can you put your hands together and just bless God right where you are? Come on, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for all of you that have joined us in worship today on this fifth Sunday in the month of July. Where has the time gone? But we thank and praise God. Um, um, the announcements will play at the end of worship this morning, um, but we pray that many of you are part of our contact list that continually gets all the information um, via text and via email, and you are apprised of everything that's happening uh, here at Greater Grant Memorial and all of the ministries and organizations. Uh, let me first of all want to give uh, thanks to our youth amen here at greater grant for our bowling night on friday amen we thank sister felicia thomas and the ypd of greater grant memorial we had a great time amen and uh we're gonna give out some awards next week because i think we still got to compile some scores some people might want to uh, contest some of the numbers they got um but i'm giving y'all a week to get with the officials so y'all can get y'all official scores together um but we had a great time uh, um, on Friday night and we look forward to doing more of that now um, that was the youth version that was the youth version of bowling uh, at Greater Grant that was the youth version um, soon we're gonna have the late night adult version uh, amen <laughs> leave your kids at home amen and we're just going to have a good old time going out and enjoying the fellowship. Amen. And uh, we're looking forward to doing that with everybody, all of the adults later on. So once again, we thank you. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff right there that I need you to. Um, actually, I don't really. And you need your mask. Uh, you can come get it. Where is it? Oh, is that one back there? All right. Honey, do list even on Sunday mornings. All right, amen. Um, we are in um, getting ready to have an incredible time this week here at Greater Grant as we um, are getting ready for our performing arts conference called Inspired. Amen. And it is going to be an incredible week here at the church. 
um, and we are looking forward to all of you participating uh, and being part of this wonderful opportunity to bless God through the performing arts. A couple of things I want to do. I want to talk about it a little bit more so that we are all clear on the level of uh, engagement and responsibilities. Um, but let me thank, I think as of this morning, we got 65 people registered. Somebody say amen. amen. And it's not too late for you. Um, if your name isn't Micah Sims, Elizabeth Yates, or Faye Diamond, or Kamani Thomas, or Antonio Porter, or Darlene Porter, or Alpha Brandon, or Tiffany Duhart, or Jerry Duhart, or Connie Corker, or Mildred Sapp, or John Corker, or Allison Robinson West, or Beverly Evans, or Reverend Tamika Reed Sims, or Felicia Thomas, or Francesca Wright, or Ashlyn Watts, or Sheila Williams, or Omega Harold, or Nicholas Jordan, Aaliyah Harold, Braylon Jenkins, Caitlin Harold, Morgan Wright, Fatima Walton Wright, Eddie Shaw, Tammy Shaw, Mahalia Napoleon Thompson, uh, Florence Giles, Carlene Jones, uh, Patricia Johnson, Jackie Gibbs, Craig Gibbs, Larise Postel, Joanne Williams, Riel Gunter, or if your name is not Donna Minor, or Lawrence Roberts, or Beverly Hall, or Christopher T. Thomas, Celeste Donaldson, Jeffrey Robinson, uh, Gatrell Whitfield, John Mallory Jr., Brian Mitchell, Clarice McClendon, Taylor Geis uh, Geyser, Quiana McCraney, Reverend Rosemary Harris, Alfred Williams, Dante Buxton, Den Denise Favors, Gladys Mc McNeil, Autumn Thomas, Solomon Thomas, Alfreda Whitfield again. She likes it so much she's coming twice. Carolyn Bush, Ed Bush, Ashley Blakely, Lucretia McBride, Renee Love, Vivian Porter, or Kyrie Thomas, or Alexis Williams. If none of those are your name, we need you to register this week. If you did not hear your name called, you, we need you to register so that you can be here to enjoy this wonderful conference. Now, everything, somebody repeat after me, everything starts on Friday. Friday evening at 6.30 p.m., all of the registers, all the attendees will gather here in the sanctuary. We're going to get started on Friday evening at 6.30 p.m. And so if you are part of our volunteer staff, you're part of our all those that are going to be helping, we need you here an hour, half an hour beforehand. Y'all moved it to six. Friday evening begins at 6. It's from 6 to 8 on Friday. And if all volunteers can be here at least 30 minutes prior to, that will really be helpful in allowing us to welcome our guests who are coming from, from um, outside of the congregation. Amen. So we moved it to 6 so that everybody could get home in time to see the equalizer. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm just talking. But we moved it. Um, so we're starting at 6, and so we need everybody in here an hour ahead of time. Then on Saturday, somebody say Saturday, we are starting at 9.30. Amen. We need all of attendees and everybody here at 9.30. That will start the day for our sessions. They will run through 2, 2 o'clock. And then somebody say at 6 o'clock. Y'all not saying it. At 6 o'clock. There we go. At 6 o'clock, everybody, everybody, somebody say everybody, everybody, whether you're attendee or not, everybody can come back at 6 o'clock as they're going to have our showcase finale. And so that is open to the public. So bring anybody, Lottie Dottie and everybody at 6 o'clock for a wonderful showcase uh, presentation on Saturday evening at 6. Then on Sunday, we're going to have sort of a summary version. They're going to be inter integrated into the Sunday morning worship. You're going to love it. Don't miss it. But we're really talking about you being in attendance Friday and Saturday, helping to make that happen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you registered? Turn back to your neighbor and say, yes, I am. Now, if you said that, you were praising him on credit because that means you're about to be registered. Amen. And so we want you, um, and if you can't be because of other commitments and certainly, just send up a prayer. How many people know that prayer still works? 
send up a prayer that God might be manifested in this wonderful performing arts conference and just have a great time in the Lord. All right. Um, y'all remember these? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a strong rhyme. Okay, um, so this is a bulletin. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've had bulletins. We are going back to... No. We're going to what we are going to call worship guide. What these are, and uh, the ushers can come forward, please, if y'all can help me out. Y'all will get used to me on fifth Sundays. Anything is bound to happen. These are going to be worship guides. We are going to print these once a month, maybe twice a month. I'm going to give these to the ushers if y'all could be kind enough to pass those out to people. Thank you. This should there are, what will be in the worship guide will be your major announcements, your birthdays. There will be an outline of the worship service, which we generally don't change. Somebody say amen from Sunday to Sunday. And so it will be a worship guide. Somebody get the middle section for me, please. Thank you all. I said the middle section. Thank you all. Thank you. Somebody grab the middle section. Somebody grab this section. We got somebody on that section. Herman, y'all got that section. Can somebody get Brother um, Smith, get the middle section. Just stay in the middle section. Herman, you, get, you, got, the, you got the right. Amen. We got it together. Amen. All right. Um, these will be worship guides. They will be available every Sunday. But they will basically, if you get one, you don't need to pick it up the next Sunday. Because it's going to say the same exact thing. Hello. Amen. So we will be um, distributing these starting next Sunday. It will have your calendar in it. We'll have everything you need for the month in your worship guide. These will be done every month, and that way you will be on point of what's happening here at Greater Grant Memorial. We are trusting people that you are vaccinated, getting your boosters, etc. cetera. Um, but in talking to one of my medical professionals this week, um, we've been passing out paper during COVID. Micah, y'all will be all right. Amen. So the worship guides, please, you'll be able to pick them up. Every, you'll be, again, once you get it for the month, you don't need it after that. Leave it for the folk who don't show up on the first Sunday. Or, you know, you, there are people that only show up on certain Sundays. Hello? Amen. But say, I show up every Sunday. Touch yourself and say, I show up every Sunday. Y'all didn't, I didn't hear a lot of people say that. <laughs> but it'll have all the information that you need for the month and God's name be praised. We will make sure that this is available for our online community. It will go out an email as well so that they could have it um, uh, for those that are part of our virtual communities as well. All right. Um, that's it for the pastoral concerns and we thank you and praise God for you we pray that you would govern yourselves in accordance with the same um, where do I want to go yeah let's uh, grab your Bibles let's grab our Bibles And when you have your Bible or your mobile app open to Acts chapter number three, can you be kind enough to stand as we get ready to read from the word of God today? Acts chapter number three. And when you have it, say, I got it. If you don't, say, I'm still looking. All right, amen. 
Reading from the New Revised Standard Version, your Bible may be different, but the character and the content is the same. And for those of you that are joining us online, or those of you that maybe don't have your Bibles with you this morning, they're going to share it on the screen, both in the sanctuary and virtually. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon. And a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called Beautiful Gate so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw, somebody say when he saw. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stand up and walk. Remain standing, I want to read in your hearing um, Philippians chapter number four, beginning at verse number four. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything. Somebody say everything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. You may be seated in his presence. Peter and John were going to pray and they were going to pray because number one they had a God to pray to they knew they had a God who would listen and they knew they had a God who would respond but I contend they also went to prayer because they had something to pray for that this was going to be a moment when they were going to seek God. That they were going to particularly lay a burden down or seek the ear of God to intercede on their behalf. To do something for them. They had what the old folk would say, they had a prayer request. And how many people know that in when you are walking with God, it's okay to have a prayer request. Because sometimes what you're dealing with, only God can handle. Can I get a little bit more personal for some of you? That what you're dealing with, you only really want God to know about. Everything ain't meant for everybody. But if you don't do what it says in Philippians, make your request known, not to the pastor, not to the presiding elder, not to the bishop, not to the officers, but make your request known to who? To God. Peter and John had a prayer request. They had an ask. But there was also, as we've discussed, we're not going to get into it too deep because I'm almost done. There was a man who was lame who had a request. He had a need to be helped. He needed alms so that he could survive. My beloved brothers and sisters, if we don't know how to ask, you sometimes we'll never be able to receive. I know you want to keep everything inside, but sometimes I, I, I'm not, a, God says I'm not a mind reader. 
I know what you need. I'm talking, God knows what we need. God wants to see if you know what you need. Do you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you know what you need? So on this Sunday, on this fifth Sunday, I'm getting right, I need, I need three stewards. Getting ready to have three stewards, they're going to take a section of piece and they're going to pass out a piece of paper. What you're going to do is you're going to write down your prayer request. Number one, it's affirming the fact that you got something going on that only God can handle. So you're going to write that request down. But in writing the request down, you are admitting that you also need help. Some of us think we're so doggone good. You don't know how close to perfect I am, Pastor. Oh, really? But everybody in the building can testify. Just keep on living. You're going to find out how close to not being perfect you are. And so when you're going to God and you're making the request, you are admitting that you need help. And you're joining in the concert of believers that also know that God is and so on this fifth Sunday, we're going to demonstrate our willingness, exercise our faith to make our requests known to God. In just a minute, you're getting ready to get a piece of paper, and I want you to write your prayer request on that piece of paper. When you have finished filling out or writing down your prayer request, I want you to fold it, and I want you to come lay it on this communion table. It's just as simple as that this Sunday. There is some stuff you need done in your life. And you need to make your request known to Almighty God. I don't know if you're Peter and John. I don't know if you're the lame man. But what I do know is that all of us need God to step in. Pastor, I don't have anything major going on in my life. Then do me a favor, write on the paper, Lord bless my church. Because that's inclusive of all of us. That ain't just talking about the bill. That's talking about all of us that are standing in the need of prayer. But I just believe in my spirit. That there are some people in here who have got some particular prayer requests that need to be made known to God this morning. So Brother Mallory, come on. Brother Bush, come on on this side. And then and Sister Lud, I know you got grannins. Come on. Each of them are taking the section right now. Passing out a piece of paper. I just need you to simply write your prayer request on it. Fold it in half. And bring it to the altar. Lay it right on the communion table because the blood still works. For those of you that may not have a prayer request, I know that um, Sister Williams, her grandson, uh, passed on yesterday. Uh, so please pray for her. You can put, please bless Sister Williams' grandson, Sister Williams' family, on the passing of her grandson, Melvin Johnson. You know, I have a particular prayer request. I ask that the Lord keep on blessing and holding Sister Joan of her and her family. Passing of her sister. They got the rest of them, John. For young people, hey, you just might want to say, Lord, bless me as I get ready to go to school. 
Maybe there's something going on in your family life, in your own personal life. Whatever it is. Uh, see, Sister Lud, I'm, I think I, I cut all the ones I had. I thought I had enough. Sister Lud, you got enough? Everybody's got a piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper, raise your hand. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. You need a piece of paper. You got extra. Everybody got paper. Y'all got paper. Y'all good. Go ahead and put it on the communion table. When you have finished doing your prayer request, come on and just lay it on the communion table. Finish your request, just come on and lay it on the communion table. joining us online you can send your prayer request just put it in the chat or if you want to email it to the church we'll add it into the list y'all can keep singing you good whatever your particular prayer request is that's what today is all about making our request known before the Lord. No. Make your request. 
quest known. Used to be before your presence came and changed me. Make your request known. Now, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed and you know that God is going to not only hear your request, but honor your request, I want you to extend your hand to the communion table. You can stand wherever you are and just extend your hand out. And what I want you to begin to do is I want you to begin to pray. Hear me before you do it. I don't want you to pray for your request. Right. But I want you to pray for the request of your brothers and your sisters. That God may honor the request of my brothers and sisters. Who have made what they need known to you today. That God, you would manifest in your holy power and through your Holy Spirit and do what needs to be done. So I want you to begin praying right now. Begin to pray right now for the prayer request that lay on the table. Yeah. I need thee. Yes, God. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless Whew. me now. Do it, God. My Do it, God. Do it, God. We know you are able. Do it, God. I come. Do it, God. To the Not in our time, but do it in your time, God. Do it. Made our request known. Bless my sister. Made her request known. Bless my sister. Made his request known. Bless my brother. By faith, I believe you're going to answer them and do it. In the name of Jesus. me now now if you know God is able and that if you know God heard you pray for somebody else come on bless God for yourself bless God like you know he's gonna bless you as well come on open up your mouth put your hands together and bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name As we're standing, there may be somebody who slipped in here and doesn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. But you made a prayer request, which means you know Jesus, you just haven't accepted him yet as your Lord and your Savior. So to me, as you get ready to sing again, I need thee. If there's anybody in here who needs to get into relationship with Jesus Christ, you already know he exists, you already, you already know of his name, but now you want to get into direct relationship with him. As we get ready to sing, say excuse me to your neighbor and come down to the front, give me your hand, but more importantly, give God your heart. I need thee! Yo 
If you need to be in love and charity with the Lord, if you need to be in relationship, you need to accept him as your personal savior. No need of making a prayer request if you're not in relationship with the person you made the request to. God says, when you hear my voice, harden not your heart. My Come on, everybody's getting ready to open up your voice and we're going to sing this together. Ain't nothing like an old hymn. Come on, y'all. I need thee. I need Come on, everybody. I need thee. I need thee. Come on, come on. Every hour. The opportunity is right now for you. To come on and give your life to Jesus right now. I, I need thee. The opportunity is right here, right now. Oh, bless. Pastor, I'm saved, but I don't have a church home. Then come on. Become part of the greater grand family. My Savior. My Savior. This is your opportunity right now. We. Come to thee. To Come on one more time. I need thee. To thee. I need. I need thee. Oh. I need thee. I need thee. God says when you hear my voice, heart not your heart. You know you need him right now. Ah, God, I feel that thing. Oh, bless. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss your blessing. Bless Don't miss your breakthrough. My Savior. Make your request known. One more time, one more time, one more time. Somebody in this building needs a healing. I don't know who you are, but God says you need to walk by faith right now. There is healing in this room. I need thee every hour. It might be you online. This is just for you because God wants to heal your body right now. He wants to heal your body. Oh, bless. Bless us. Bless us now. My With all eyes closed and every head bowed, all of the eyes of the disobedient are open. Make your request known. God, there's some people in the building that need you to heal family members. Some people in the building that need you to save <laughs> family members. God, there are some of us. I don't know who this is, but Lord... I, I just want to stop crying just for a minute. Situation and circumstances in my life have me breaking out into tears and in pain 
far too often. God, I need to make my request known that you would come in and minister to me. We thank you for those that came to the altar for prayer, but we especially thank God for these that have come to unite with God's church. May their requests known that I need to be in loving relationship with God and with others. God, we're praying for them right now in the name of Jesus. That's your mom. Love your mom, huh? We thank God for moms who can still hold hands with their children. We have the victory. And mom, you need to know that if it worked for Jerry and it worked for Renee Ludd and it worked for Tamika and it worked for Kyrie and if it worked for Felicia, the same God that blessed their children is the same God that will bless your children. Tell me who Woo! Can Jesus. Stand me God is trying to do something with families. When we call on y'all didn't y'all missed that. God's that trying to do something name. with families. So God, we thank you for the demonstration of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for this mom, this son, this family. Woo, Jesus. God, we thank you, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody shout Jesus' name. Come on, I need somebody to shout in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Before, Before us. us, when we call on that great name, Jesus, 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 precious, precious Jesus. Jesus, we have, we have the victory. Come on, one more time, Dante. Oh. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Tiff, Tiffany and Jason. I need I know y'all are working, but I need y'all to come. I need y'all to come to the altar. Jesus. Precious. Jesus. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Precious. Jesus. We have the victory. His name is Jesus. Jesus. 
if you aren't sitting next to your family right now, I need you to move and, and get next to your family. I need you to move and get next to your family. Thank you, Jesus. Precious. Where's Michelle? Michelle, come here for a second. Where are your kids at? Y'all come up here with Charmaine. Everybody, get with your family. His name is Jesus. Woo! Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name. If you're sitting with your family, with your family, y'all just hold hands and begin to pray right where you are. Husbands, wives, family members. Pastor, I don't have my family here. Get closest to the closest family, like family member you got in the building. Go to the person closest to you. Act like family to you. Go be next to them. Yes, sir. Oh, tell me who can stand, stand before, stand before us. us when we call on that great name. Woo! Jesus, Jesus, precious. And just for the next three minutes, I want y'all to begin to pray as a family. Just begin to pray. I don't, even want, I don't want no music. I speak against every demonic force, evil spirit, disease and sickness against your family. I speak against every generational curse. I speak against the enemy trying to destroy wounds to cease for the next generation and the generation and the generation after that. I speak against it right now in the name of Jesus. I speak, speak wholeness and health and joy and happiness 
and healing and recovery and prosperity and growth and development and success and achievement in your family in the name of Jesus. I pray and speak a spirit of positive relationships. Marriages and fruitful relationships. I speak it into being in your life and in your family's life right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any separation or abuse or divorce. I speak against it in the name of Jesus. I speak against any baby mama drama. I speak against any crazy daddy acts. I speak against in-laws jumping in your business. I speak against your news of your family's business running all across town in the name of Jesus. I pray that Jesus shows up at your barbecues, your family reunions, and blesses the food and blesses the water and blesses the punch and tells everybody to keep the party going because there's love in the family. I pray now for those members of your family that for so long have told you that church is not where they need to be. But I speak against that demon right now in the name of Jesus. If it worked for my mom and if it worked for big mama, if it worked for granddad, if it worked for Uncle Willie, it will work for them. And I speak it into existence. God, I thank you. Now, as we get ready to close this prayer, there are probably at least one or two names in your family. And I want you to speak it out as loud as you can. Not only so that you could hear your next assignment, but that God might go in front of you as you get ready to minister to them the next time you see them. But the third reason you're getting ready to say it loud is because you want the devil to know you can't have them any longer. So whoever that name is in your family or in your friend network, in about 30 seconds, you about to shout their names as loud as you can because we know what we just did in this place is about to transform their lives. So in about 10 seconds, you're getting ready to shout their name as loud as you can. Do it right now. Now, if you believe it's done, come on, put your hands together and bless God right now for that name. Bless God for your family that you've associated with here. Come on, bless the Lord. Woo. Everybody may return back to your seats. Amen. Amen to the mom, and you're going to see them after service. Amen, Brother Herman. Thank you. We praise God for them, and they're coming. Amen. Woo, Jesus. Riel, go sit with your family. You all right. Got a new drummer. Let the people of God say amen. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God some praise for what God has just done in the building. Woo! That wasn't. Whew. Here's what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to go. 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 We get right, give and go. We get right, give and go. We get right, give and go. 
Get your tithes and offerings together, whatever you need to offer an envelope, whatever, media ministry. I know, Jason, whenever y'all get the moment, y'all can put it up on the screen. Um, we're going to bring our tithes and our offerings, and then we are dismissed. We're going home. I think God has done exactly what God wanted to do in this place today. And I'm not getting in his way. Ain't coming out with the table. If you need a tithes or offering envelope, raise your hand. And thank you, all of those that are joining us online. And you remain interactive during that moment. And we thank you for that. And that's the intention of our virtual campuses. Amen. Thank you, all of those that have mailed your tithes and offerings in. Uh, thank you, Williams and James. These are last names and Jones and Little. And I want to think I'm forgetting somebody in Long. Um, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, if any of the following women are here, if they're not, it's on recording, so y'all make sure y'all call me at some point in time during the week. But if you're here, please, before you leave the building, see me. This ain't got nothing to do with Inspire. Um, Janice Belton, Sherry Frazier, Michelle Johnson, Lillian Porter, Ramona Roberts, Felicia Thomas, Carla Thomas, Tamiko Green, Deborah Lester, Janelle Simpo, and Tracy Zamore. If you're not here, but before the week is out, please call me. Uh, so that I can talk to you if you're here in the building before you leave the building. Come see your pastor, all right? Everybody put your tithes and offerings in your hand and let's stand where we are. We thank and praise God for this worship experience and we thank and praise God for Jesus. I'm getting ready to bless the offering and give the benediction so that when y'all come and drop off your tithes and offering, you are dismissed, but not dismissed from God's presence. Lord, we thank you. It's really all I got, God. Thank you. Thank you for being God and being God all by yourself. Thank you for blessing us with the opportunity to give. Thank you for blessing us with the opportunity to worship. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, um, starting from the back on both sides. Y'all come on up and bring your tithes and offering. And come on, we are, as y'all bring your tithes and offering, you have a great day in the Lord. Come on from the back on this side. Anybody needs to bring your tithes and your offerings, come on on this side. Anybody on this side need to bring your tithes and offering? Oh, all right, y'all are digital givers on this side, amen. All right, everybody in the middle section, please stand. And coming from the back, y'all come on and bring your tithes and offerings down this aisle right here. My left, your right, bring your tithes and offerings, amen. Thank you, have a great day in the Lord. And God's name be praised. Poverty must cease, though the devil is defeated. God bless you as you're bringing your tithes and offerings. Y'all are dismissed. We're done. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. We pray that God will meet you at your point of need all week long. We are blessed. All right. Everybody giving your tithes and your offerings. Come on in the front. Y'all give your tithes and offerings. Y'all good? Sister Black, the section gate there. All right. All right. Make sure everybody's giving your tithes and offerings. Amen. All right, thank you. God bless you. 
Have a great day in the Lord. Remember, God loves you, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen.